Oh hey there, Moose on the Loose Mel here. Today's video is going to be about sweet potato slips, and I'm going to do it two different ways. So I'm going to be doing two different ways of making sweet potato slips. So method one is going to be the classic toothpicks and a cup of water. So I'm going to take the sweet potato and halfway lengthwise down the sweet potato, I'm going to stick toothpicks in all the way around. And I'm going to space it evenly because this is going to actually hover inside the cup of water. I want to aim for half the potato in the water and half out. And this looks perfect. Now here's my cup of water and I'm just going to actually stick the potato in the water. Pretty easy actually. All right, I'll show you from a different angle here. See how I've got half the potato in the water and half out? It's excellent. Now here comes method number two, where I actually place the sweet potato in some soil. So I've already pre-drilled some holes in this container for drainage, and now I'm just gonna add some soil. This is just regular household potting mix. There's nothing special about this soil whatsoever. So the depth of the soil that I'm aiming for here is actually going to be half the width of the potato. And I'll show you when I actually go to put the potato in what I mean by that. So sweet potatoes are actually really unique. They don't grow from a seed like other vegetables and they don't even grow like a normal potato. You actually have to grow little shoots of plant off the mature potato and they're called slips. So I'm actually showing you right here. I'm just gonna lay the potato in lengthwise and I just wanna get the dirt to come up halfway where the thickest part of the potato is. So I want the bottom half of the potato to be in the dirt and I want the top half to actually be exposed to the light. And I'm just gonna add some water. So there will be roots that grow at the bottom of this sweet potato and then the shoots of plant will come off the top. And it's the same with the water one, the roots will grow down in the water. I'm just gonna add a bit more dirt because I'm not happy with the the depth of the dirt but with the water cup you'll get the roots in the water and the shoots of plant off the part of the potato that's outside of the water and this is actually just the first phase of creating the slips once the plants grow off the potato then there's more to it but that's for another video so that's the sweet potato slips done two ways if you've ever done this before comment down below let me know if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget hit subscribe take care and happy gardening